So today we got the brand new DeWalt Dual Switch Deep Cut Bandsaw. And today we're going to use and abuse, slice and dice. We'll talk about all the specs, the things that I do like about this saw, the one thing I really don't like about this saw. And I'm even going to add some disturbing surveillance footage. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a bit. Now this bandsaw was sent over by Acme Tool, so I appreciate them letting us see this. This is brand new to the market. They have a different bandsaw, basically the same thing, except for this is the dual switch. This has the safety function on it. So if the safety feature is not what you're looking for, I'll leave a link in the description for both saws. Now we're going to slice and dice some quarter inch thick steel. It's about four inches in circumference. But first, let me show you what comes in a kit. This is the kit version we're taking a look at. You get two 5AH batteries. You get the bandsaw. You got one blade, which I would recommend you toss immediately because it's not very good. You also get the charger and a really, really nice hard case. So that's real nice like. All right, before we use and abuse, let's talk some specs. You're looking a little over 13 pounds for this thing. Balance is pretty nice. That's your safety switch right there, which we'll talk about here in a bit. Got a nice grip up on top here. The trigger's easy to get to, very smooth. You got the variable speed trigger, by the way. Again, don't worry, we're gonna slice and dice through some thick steel, but let's talk about the main issue that I have, and I think this is gonna turn a lot of people off with this DeWalt. So please, when I start to explain this, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it, but you have to have two hands on the saw, which is not a big deal. We've done other reviews with other compact saws that you needed two hands. It is a safety feature, but here's the issue with it. That safety switch is way too sensitive. Let me show you how this thing works. I'll let you hear the sound. So you have to pull your trigger first, then push down on your safety paddle, and then it'll kick on, not the other way around. Which right off the bat, if you're trying to make awkward cuts or whatever, you're gonna really struggle with this. You can't use it one-handed, which is fine, again, there's other band saws that we tested that had the safety paddle switch, but this thing is so sensitive. The most sudden movement on this, your hand releases from that and it just shuts it down. It's very, very frustrating. Again, we'll show you that in action here, but there you go. The blade spins pretty smooth. Everything on this saw, really heavy duty. I am very happy with the build quality on this. It stops very quickly when you release that trigger. You can also adjust your blade tracking right here. Simply use a flathead screw. You do have your Allen wrench and you do have your release right here for the blade when you go to change it. I would suggest you change that blade out when you first get this because the blade that comes with it, not so good. So let me show you real fast. You just loosen that up. You can see it loosens right there and the blade just pops out. You put a new one in right in between. That's a really nice gliding motion. Really happy with that. It's very simple to do. Just slide that blade right back in like so. Tighten it down, pull the trigger, let it line up, and it's ready to go for the next cut. There's your blade rest or your blade stop. Just it keeps it from jumping around really when you're cutting your material. I'm gonna tell you, it's not really adjustable. I mean, technically you could move it a little bit if you wanted to, but bummed out about that. I do, however, like the speed control right here. So even if you didn't wanna use the variable speed trigger, you could use your adjustment setting right there. And I'll let you hear a couple different speeds. That was on high, let's bring it down to about the three. And then let's bring it down to the one. And that blade will spin up to 490 feet per minute. And it does offer a lot of control on that speed with the variable speed trigger and the knob adjustment. So let's slice and dice, see what this thing does. Quarter inch right here, we're gonna go right down through. I had to switch out the blades. We went with the Milwaukee IAs, and as you can see, the blade size right here, I use is 44 7 8 of an inch. All right, so let's check this thing out here. Has some really good power behind that motor, smooth cuts. But that's the issue. Even if I make the slightest adjustment, my hand comes off of that safety switch and it shuts it down. Just a reminder, that pipe around four inches in diameter and that safety switch, not good. Here's a different angle.
You can hear it shutting off. I am not doing that on purpose. Actually getting to the point that it is annoying. Ugh. And then you got to constantly reset it. If you go in an awkward angle, you're, you're going to end up shutting this thing off. There's just not a lot of room for play on that safety paddle switch. Now, I thought maybe something was damaged, but I was being very careful with this thing. And this is what I found is very disturbing. Check this out. So it looks like I got some damage on the D-Wall bandsaw. Acme Tools definitely not going to be happy because I got to return this thing, but I don't remember doing this. But luckily, I have a camera in my garage, and this is what I'm picking up. Oh, anybody home? Cause... Oh, that voice sounded very familiar. I want to get a picture of his face, but oh, the camera's going out. But luckily, we have different angles. I want to see who this is. Why is he not wearing shoes in my garage? Oh, this is very upsetting. So apparently he finds the D-Wall bandsaw and wants to do damage on it. I don't know who this would be, but look. Oh, man. Acme Tool is going to be very upset about this. Damage the bandsaw, and then he dares to run away. Who is this? I want, oh, there goes the camera again, but let me fix it. Let me fix it. And Oh, I knew it. It's Vinny from VCG Construction. I knew I recognized that voice when he first came through trying to set me up. Very disheartening my dude would do that. I'm not mad, I'm hurt. But let's do some more slicing and dicing. So again, those cuts, pretty smooth. Definitely enough power to this. Can't believe I actually made it through without it stopping. I was really putting some uh, pressure down on that safety switch, though. Let me show you what the issue is. We're going to pull that, and there is not a lot of play at all. You just let go uh, just a hair, and it will shut off, and then you got to reset it again. Yeah, it's pretty disappointing, but you do have a LED light right here. As soon as you pull the trigger, it comes on, so that's nice. So here are my thoughts. I think the build quality is awesome. And, you know, I make no bones about it. I love DeWalt saws, but this one here, I, I just can't recommend it. However, that said, I would definitely recommend the exact same saw that came out a couple years ago that does not have that safety paddle. Again, I'll put a link in the description below for both of these. It's just way too sensitive. I think the saw has enough power to cut through anything you want. I like that deep cut. I love the build of this. I think it's smooth. It's quiet. It's just that safety paddle. And I've had them on other saws before and never had this type of issue with it. You move it a hair, I'm telling you, it'll shut it off and you're going to get very, very frustrated. I definitely want to know what you think, though, about this saw. Have you used it? Do you plan on using it? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you like about it, what you don't like about it. You know, I always love hearing your feedback on these. I want to thank Acme Tools for sending this over for us to take a look at. We greatly appreciate it if you could smash that like button. If you like tools, well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll be back with more videos soon.